morning, gents, ladies, gentlemen, animals, dogs, cats. Today we have this carrier. Somewhere. There we are. Uh, okay, so complaint is that the uh, space downstairs needs to be cooled at all times. Even though we're at 30 some degrees, they still need this AC running. And space is 80 degrees. I already tore into it. I started checking because he says that uh, I can see the compressors aren't running. And I started checking my switches here for my safeties. Zero. This is a high pressure for circuit one. Zero. I need at the low pressure. 27, so that's open. And then I'm sorry, I'll be that low pressure switch right here. No pressure for circuit one. That's open. So they're going off of no pressure. I believe it has to do with we have such low ambient temperatures, and I do not believe this fan has any form of, uh, I mean, this unit has any form of uh, fan cycle control. So that's what happens. Uh, gets too cold, you can't maintain that head pressure. Yeah, maintenance guy says usually they can just uh, kill that disconnect, come back on and the pressure or the system will reset. Yeah, I'm not familiar with the system, so we'll see. Let's just keep on. Nope. Still off on low pressure. Uh, I doubt if uh, maybe we're. open. Circuit 1, circuit 2 is open on low pressure, so. Alright, let's tear into it and see what we find. Uh, Alright, Jet, so I got my field piece probe on both suction lines. And if you look, I have a standing pressure of about 112, 111. So, I already know both of my low pressure switches are open. Now, I just need to see at what pressure do these switches close at so I can, so I can have compressor control. All right, so this is what I figured out so far. Both pressure switches are open on the low side. They cut out at 54 PSI and they reset at about 117. Now, what I've noticed is my pressure, standing pressure right now, is approximately 114. So it's right about, right about the edge of where it wants to reset. So what we're gonna do first is, we're gonna adjust this belt. I'm gonna adjust this pulley. We're gonna adjust that belt. What I'm gonna recommend to them is uh, once I get it up and running, uh, once I get this belt done, I'm gonna use this hose to dump some some of the uh, high side liquid into the uh, suction side, just to close that pressure switch. Uh, that'll get my compressors running and button it up I'm gonna go recommend that we do a uh, some sort of fan cycle control because we got two fans running full speed and it's, we're just gonna be dealing with uh, head pressure issues so they have approved it and we are now so here we are this is what we're gonna use Fan cycling pressure control opens at 300, closes at 400 psi. 
this sign. So, there it is. And the way I'm thinking we're going to do this is uh, both fans are controlled by a relay. So we're probably just going to control that relay with that fan cycle switch. Both fans come on at the same time and both fans will shut off. Right now, um, for the last couple days, that fan has been disconnected. This is the only fan that's running and my head pressure is still only approximately 250 PSI, which is about an 80, 84 condensing temp. All right, go ahead and check this out. We have a factory low pressure, I mean high pressure switch right here. And then we have this T with another pressure switch. But of course this is disconnected. And then we have circuit two here. Again, it's disconnected. But you have your high pressure switch here. So this is purple going right here. And then circuit one is black. Follow the wires going right here. So begs the question, what the hell are these for? They're just here. Huh. And you got this pressure switch here and you got this one here. Gents, I think I found out what's going on with these. I think that these are fan cycle switches. Because if you notice right here, somebody bypassed the wire on the fan motor. And they didn't even put a wire nut. I imagine that one goes here. And then this one right here probably goes to this one. Why would they bypass it? Somebody was probably out here checking it and said, Oh man, these fans aren't coming on. Bypass that. Bypass those switches. What in the world? <laughs> uh, well, now we just got to see if they work. Because if they work, I'm just going to hook them up. And then there's not going to be a point for me to put this aftermarket one on. But if they don't work, then I'll replace it with... I'll replace circuit one with a new one. And kill that relay on the low voltage side with fan cycle switch. Jesus, dude. I swear to God, when I was here a couple of days ago, I, I didn't see these. I just figured, oh, somebody bypassed the high pressure switch. But these are not high pressure switches. That's a high pressure switch. That's a high pressure switch. Huh. Pay attention. Shit, it got me today. Holy hell. Okay, we got our probes on. Meter set to tone. So if it closes, meter will go off on tone. I had to get clips in the truck. It's a good place for them when I need them. So. All right, so I got the uh, relay disconnected so the fans don't come on. Uh, we're just going to watch that pressure. I don't see at what pressure these guys close at, so we're just going to we're just going to monitor it with a measure quick app. So There we go. at about 415, 420. And now let's see when it shuts off. So that fan cycle switch is good. I wonder why the hell someone bypassed it. I wonder if 
it's going to open up at about 300 or so. Forty or so, eighty condensing. Hmm. It's a little low, I think, on the low side. But if that's factory, I'm not even sure if that's factory or not. Maybe someone installed it afterwards. I would imagine someone did. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna connect them back up. That's all their problem is. It's head pressure issues. That's crazy. Alright, it's wired up. Alright, we got both fans wired up. And you can see if they both work. just decided to bypass them and created a service call for themselves. Or maybe it was a different company. They said they've had this problem for years, so. That one shut off. That one's still cooling. Actually, not bad. About 90 condensing temps with one fan running. I wonder what the ambient temperature is today. All right, gents, my phone died. I really couldn't get any more video, but essentially, what I did was I just re uh, you know, I reconnected those fan cycle switches on circuit one and two and his unit's operating fine i'd rather um leave it factory and then monitor it here in the next couple days couple weeks and uh, if they continue having problems then at that point i'll come in and install my fan cycle switch i still got it right there so if they continue having problems i'll come in and install that fan cycle switch and I'll just uh, control the relay and just have both fans going um, at the same time. I mean, uh, I still have no idea why somebody would bypass them. I mean, it's, I guess the things you see out here. So that'll be it, gents. Um, this unit is running fine. And we're going to call it a day. We'll call this a day and we'll see what happens here in the near future thank you for watching and see you in the next one